Welcome! On this video we will see all the new updates on 3ds Max 2022. We will see all the updates during the last year, this will be on update 1, 2 and 3, plus obviously all the news in 3ds Max 2022 exclusively. On modeling we saw Shift plus Drag that was introduced in update 1, then on update 2 we get a Smart Extrude that is activated with Shift plus Drag and it will stitch automatically faces, being able to work in different ways in 3ds Max. And now in Max 2022 this feature has been greatly enhanced, uh, bringing all these options into Edit Poly Modifier, making it way more robust and way more flexible. This Smart Extrude has new flexibility, more options, it will cut through, removing geometry data when the Smart Extrude goes to the other side of the faces. So you will be able to make holes on your mesh in a super easy way. This brings 3ds Max modeling tools into a whole new level that I never saw anywhere else. We got improvements and a turbo charge, a slice modifier and symmetry modifier. We have now multiple axis slice planes in X, Y and Z, radial slicing, radial symmetry, we can pick a face option for planar on a slice and on symmetry, an option to pick external objects to animate easily a slice or symmetry. A slice is two times faster than the previous slice modifier. In part, it's thanks to a smarter well sim, where the modifier knows what vertex are split from one another and weld them together. On a slice, a cap option has been included with improved capping that will work in way more situations than before with options to choose a cap material as well. In a similar way, Relax Modifier has been improved, now it's multi-threaded, with over 3.5 times speed improvements than the previous one, and the addition to preserve volume. In this mode, Relax will keep the overall shape volume and only smooth the edge or vertex in between. Extrude Modifier has been as well highly optimized. When working with complex splines that you need to extrude, on different tests we saw up to 130 times faster extrude times. Retopology is a huge time saver in 3ds Max, introduced on update 3. With 3 new algorithms, will help you create in a fast way quad poly versions of any mesh without need to do any manual work. With it comes a mesh cleaner to fix automatically non-manifold polys, and improvements on subdivide modifier that it's now faster with three new triangulation methods and different ways to preserve existing mesh data. Other improvements on modeling has been the push modifier that is 300% faster and path deform that has been totally rebuilt with 400% faster speeds and more options than before. We saw during the different updates a new spline chamfer modifier, improvements on explicit normals preservation on multiple modifiers, and now we have a way to control the selection pixel radius and an improved heat detection for selections. During this last year we get a lot of performance gains in 3ds Max. Some that I like are accelerated auto smooth algorithm, on some tests we saw over 3000 faster times compared with the old smooth algorithm, faster edit poly remove edge and remove vertices with up to 6 times faster times in some tests. Enable disable edit poly modifier doesn't trigger to recompute the modifier anymore and accelerated mesh clusters in some tests went from 1 minute 25 seconds to only 4 seconds. All this in the latest 3ds Max 2022. A lot of improvements on the viewport on the last year in 3ds Max. On 2022 we get presentation mode. This will allow you a full screen without any borders and removing any text or helpers on the screen that can be distracting. You will get a clean viewport ideal for presentations. On update 1 to 3 we get bloom on viewport, point cloud display enhancements, improve some extent behavior, support OSL strings in viewport, Play animated sequence with OSL bitmaps, UDIM support with OSL, depth of field affecting environmental maps, big netting skill is the same as the finite in camera, matte shadow works in viewport, and as additional, 3ds Max now will start if you have more than 10 GPUs on your machine, before you was limited to 9 GPUs, now if you are lucky to have 10, well, you can use your extra GPUs in 3ds Max as well. On the rendering side we have Render Dialog has been ported to Q2 interface, this means that now it's receivable. you will see that on Arnold menu because it is already QT. This is fixing a long time back where the first click was not always registered on the Render Dialog settings. During the different updates we get a PBR importer for faster PBR material creations, 
an active shape viewport resolution multiplier, added single click for the material editor, no selection, a slate material is way faster if it's used with 4K monitors, multiple improvements on OSL, a new bitmap random tiling has been added on update 2, a new PBR mixer with OSL, one of N for OSL maps, new multimixer, mix color and vector maps, new wireframe OSL, random by index to randomize per component, and a curve OSL new map. Bake to Texture received multiple improvements during last year. In 2022, common maps has been added. Users can quickly create in one click common maps outputs like beauty, color, metalness, roughness, vertex color, emissive, material ID, normals, ambient occlusion, rounded corners. Any renderer can hook into these common maps. Instead of dealing with multiple tweaks here and there to get the desired output, these maps will do everything for you. As well, gamma settings are now exposed into the different maps to big to texture. Max 2022 added new security tools to fix possible malware when you download external files from internet, corrupting files via malicious max script commands. It's called Safe as Seen Script Execution. Now you will see a notification center announcing if a malicious script has been found. The user can check potential risk founds, enable executions or not, and turn on off all this protection system. These are only some of the improvements that we get during last year. Obviously, we get much other improvements like Arnold Render View, SolidWorks 2021 support, SketchUp 2020 support, improvements on Python and on MaxScript, allowing to define 3ds Max default values, and so on. There is a really a lot. Next, I will add a list done by Shang Soeun with a more complete list of all the improvements that we saw and all the types of fixes during last year in 3ds Max. I think it's quite a big list. And please let me know in the comments what are your favorite features on this last year release in 3ds Max. I think that we saw a lot of things. The overhaul in modeling in 3ds Max is pretty serious. And I am quite happy with what we are seeing. A lot more things are needed in 3ds Max. So let me know what do you expect to see next improve in 3ds Max, but has been quite an incredible year. Thank you a lot, guys. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons that support making me these videos. And yeah, see you soon guys. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like and give me a comment. See you soon.